Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. It's your boy Donato with another Wattpad story time. It's been so long since I did a video. And today, girls, boys and girls, we got a good one today. So as you can see, oh, I have my tennis racket collection. Um, let's name all of them. This one is um my Wilson, my blue, um, what kind of racket is it? The Volcanic Frame, Wilson Blue and Black Wilson. Um, and then here's my brand new baby. It's a Wilson um, Tour Slam. This is a, uh, my new one I got yesterday. I didn't play with it yet, but I feel like it's going to have a good playing string. Girl, if you fall from here, I'm gonna have a problem. And then here's my head racket. This is um Tri Radical Elite. This one's a good one too. I really don't play with it. So there is that one. Oh, okay, there you go. And here is my Fox X Wilson racket. It's pretty good. It's good for hitting forehands and backhands. Pretty good. And there you have my tennis collection, tennis racket selection. All right, so y'all, so grab your drinks and pour. We're going to have a good time with you girls and bo boys and girls. All right, so I got these Skittles flavor packets. What kind should I get in? No, they're not sponsored by them. They're really good. Still not sponsored. So which one should I get? Should I get... Strawberry, orange, or green apple. I'm going to choose, like, I'm going to close my eyes, and whatever lands on, I have to drink it. So, ready, set, go. Orange. I didn't want to get orange. I did not. All right, so let me find orange. I had the strawberry one. It's really good, so let's open it up. Smells like orange. All right. I should throw that. In. So tonight's color is orange because I have an orange shirt on. It actually blends in. <laughs> All right. Let's take a sip. It's pretty good. It tastes like Skittles more. All right. Today's chapter, we're going to continue with the story we did last time. The second Paw Patrol fan fiction story. So let's do a quick review because I haven't done this story in a while. So in part one, we did a while back. You can go into my Wattpad story time playlist. I will make it public. So, we can keep to date with each other. So, in chapter two, we learn what happened in... Well, let's start at the past, part one. So, in the past, we learned that Ryder and his mom has been abused by Ryder's father, which led to thematic elements to him beating him with the belt, just abusing the baby. He didn't, he didn't do anything. Oh, his mom left, which sparked all of this animosity in the air. We don't appreciate. Oh, and as you can see, my hair did grow, so we haven't seen each other in a while, but we learned that... He's been abusing him, his father, constantly, constantly, which led up to the really peak in the story where we learned that Ryder's father found out his mom left, grabbed a bottle, a beer bottle, and shoved it up to his throat, tried to end my son's life. It's just sad. Then in part two, we learned that at school, it's just worse. This bully named Butch. If you know who Butch is, <laughs> we're really going to get into the story today. So we learned that Butch 
in part one, we learned that that's Katie's boyfriend. So, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out that Butch, no, Katie doesn't know what Butch done to Ryder. Oh, you know what? Well, Najin, if you hear this loud noise, it's my air conditioning. It's loud and it's cold in here. Like I like it. Praise God for that. And in part two, we learned that it led to this high point where Butch and his group of boys start beating on him, causing him to lose consciousness. I don't think so. So let me scroll all the way down. Um. Oh, excuse me. Um, then in part three, we learned that he finds Chase. Um, he's barely moving. So let's actually read part three. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna probably gonna go up to getting things straight. So let's get started. So pause the video right now. Pause it. Go get something to drink and get you a snack. We're gonna be here for about 40 minutes today or an hour. You never know. So get your cups and pour. The past part three. Writer's POV. Although living at Foggy Bottom was terrible, going to school was awful. And living with my dad was horrible. Okay, child, which one is horrible? Well, I I'm not bashing you. I'm just saying. Everything is bad. Poor child. Although, I will never, I will never forget the day I found Chase, a small, fragile German Shepherd puppy that was barely moving. It was a regular school day, and lunch had just ended. I was passing by the courtyard when I saw a crowd gathering at the corner of a dumpster. Hold on, pause. Since when does since when do kids um meet at the garbage uh, dumpster? Since when do we do that? Back in my day. <laughs> Back in my days, we didn't have a dumpster we could just walk up to by the park and even though give no I'm not the park, the courtyard, the playground, whatever you call it. It was never in the vicinity of where we can actually go and take stuff. I'm just saying. Why are we We got I already know this is gonna be rage. Let me get my straw. Lord bless it. Hope I don't get any infection. Now this is more like it. I saw a crow gathering at the corner of a dumpster. Since I was eight years old, I did what my hyperactive and curious, curious eight-year-old would do. Check it out. When I reached out, I saw an adorable puppy. It looked like a German Shepherd, but no one could really tell since it was so dirty. Some kids were poking it with the stick. What? what is wrong with y'all kids? Now we poking dogs with sticks? Since when do we do that? I I'm just saying, wh wh why? why? Why do we poke and prod dog? Like I said in um my first White Pass story, part one, wh why do we just knock dogs inside the head and call them nothing? They're not here for that. They're here to protect, attack, protect, and love. Why can't we do it? Why, why can't people understand that? Dogs are not here. To be bothered with. I can tell I'm already getting mad. So let's move on. And some kids were poking it with a stick. Some were just awing at the dog. As I looked 
closer. It looked like he was wounded. His leg was a bit twisted, so I assume that's why he didn't run a squirm. Just as everyone was about to disperse, Butch came. He looked at the puppy and started poking it with his foot. Like I said, why, 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 why? Why are we poking and prodding the dog? What has the dog done to you? Jack, nothing. We already went over this. Stop abusing the baby. Stop. Just as everyone was about to disperse, Butch, out of all people, decided to come. He looked at the puppy and started poking it with his foot. The pokes turned into small kicks, which made the pup whimper. Now, why didn't no one stop Butch? If everyone was like, oh, look at the cute puppy. Why didn't y'all have enough courage to tell Butch stop abusing the dog? That's why ASPCA is here. To take, collect dogs from owners who don't know how to have a freaking dog. I'm sorry. Lord, don't have a dog if you're going to do this. I feel like rage is taking over. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> So my predictions work right. <laughs> <coughs> 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 oh. I saw my predictions were right. Some kids were telling him to stop, but of course <coughs> he wouldn't listen. The pup started whimpering loudly, and I couldn't just stand there and watch. I pushed. Ooh, my man's just started to get it going. I pushed Butch away from the pup and stood between the two. Butch obviously got mad. What do you think you're doing? Stopping your stupidity in action. That's what I'm doing. That came out of my mouth expectantly. Hey, 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 don't feel bad. Don't feel bad at all to tell him to stop. Dude, don't. Don't. Ooh. See, now that's that backbone I told you to get last time. There we go. Stopping your stupidity in action. That's what I'm doing. That came in my mouth unexpectedly. Everyone started stepping away from us. Even some pulled out their phones to record. World star, they about to fight. If you're trying to act... If, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Let me get my deep voice together. If you think you're trying to act tough, you're just getting yourself closer to a beater. Now move! He yells while shoving me away from the puppy. Not a chance, I say. I stood my ground, hoping that that would stop him from hurting the already beaten pup. But then that just caused more trouble. I saw his crew coming out from the crowd surrounding us. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that y'all, the crew was in the crowd, y'all stepped away. I, I, ain't y'all supposed to be with Butch? Make that make sense. Were y'all supposed to be rolling with him like, yeah, if he gonna jump this dog, we gonna jump him too. What's going on? Is there something you're not telling us? I feel like there is. Let's continue. <sighs> Are we going to have a good time with this? I see his crew coming out from the crowd surrounding us. Are you stupid? Okay. Are you stupid? I said move out of the way. He yelled. But yet, I stood my ground. I'm not stupid, but I do know you're stupid. <laughs> My baby the finally stood up for some everyone get up and clap for him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo!
yeah. I got a pencil right here. I'll pop that later. <laughs> I'm, let's continue reading because we're going to get into it. When I say get into it, I say get into it. I know I'm not stupid, but I do know you're stupid. And this and this, this was the sentence that ignited the bomb. One of his friends grap, grappled me from behind, which just made me defenseless. He went to the puppy, took a good look at it, and started stepping on his wounded leg. Oh, what what is wrong with you? You should be in jail. <sighs> See, y'all kids are really abusive with dogs. Y'all don't even deserve to have one. He went to the puppy, took a good look at it, then started stepping on its wounded leg. I yell at him to stop, yell at him to stop, but he would just chuckle. What felt like an eternity, what after what it felt like an eternity, he stopped hurting the pup and turned his attention to me. Came right to me and gave me a solid blow to my right cheek, knocking me to the ground. He didn't stop there. He kicked the side of my chest until the whole crowd told him to stop. I was groaning in pain while trying to keep my eye on the dog. Eventually, everyone dispersed. Butch and the screw had one loud laugh, then left. I got up, still dazed from the punch, and went to the puppy. As I walked closer, it started growling. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what you're growling for. You know what? Let's read before I start judging the baby. As I walked closer, it started growling. But that wouldn't stop me from helping him. I've always had a soft spot for animals. Don't like my dad. My dad would go kick dogs and animals if they were enraged. Even if they if they weren't enraged, he'd throw trash or rocks at them. The unnecessary cruelty he showed made me promise to myself that I will never act like him in any way. See, that's called that's called being yourself, baby. That's what it's called. Yeah. I started petting the puppy and slowly he warmed up to me. Hey, little pup, what's your name? Ch Chase. Chase, huh? Where's your owner? No owner. Hmm. All right, then. Are you hurt? No, did Sherlock? Yeah, he hurt. Didn't you just witness one of the kids out of Butch's crew stepped on the dog's wounded leg? You don't think he's wounded? See, it's the stupidity questions for me. Y'all ask the most dumbest questions, and it's not even funny. Why would you ask a dog if it's in pain after they started kicking him, prodding him with sticks, and then to the ultimate step on the wounded dog's foot? Well, some people ask the most dumbest questions, and it's not even funny. Out of this whole entire series, we've been doing a white pass four times. You can look at all of them that ask dumb questions. It's not even funny. Let's continue before I start screaming, and then you don't want to hear that. You don't. Oh, I thought I saw that spider from last night that was crawling on my wall. Jesus. Leg, leg fractured, I think. Hmm, why not? I hide you some. Wait, hold on, let, let me see. No owner. All right, then. Mm, all right, then. Are you hurt? Leg fractured, I think. Mm. Why not? I hide you somewhere. And then after school, I bring you to the vet. Where is the vet? Where is that? It's a good place. They'll get your leg fixed up so you can stay hidden from me. I didn't know if I... I didn't know if bringing this pup to the vet was the right choice. But I sure felt like it was. Okay, but no more kicking. 
I'm not one of the bad ones. It's okay. I carefully scooped up the fragile pup and hid him in a bush outside school. Stay here, okay? Are you hungry? There goes another dumb question. I'm not even going to address it. Are you hungry? Please. I had a leftover sausage in my lunchbox. All right, all right. How's the sausage? Yes, please, sir. I'm not screaming. Yes, please, sir. I'm sorry I had to do it. Whoa, okay. <coughs> Calm down. <coughs> Whoa. Okay, I'll be back when school's over. No going anywhere, okay? I said to him while he munched on the sausage. Okay, sir. Bye. I didn't think he would go along with this, but I was sure glad he did. I did my utmost to avoid <coughs> Butch. <coughs> to avoid Butch and his crew for the rest of the day. If he found out about this, I'd get a humiliating beating and risk hurting the pup even worse. I ran back to class before the bell before the bell rang. I passed by John. Hey, right, are you all right? Hey, John, I'm all right. What made you ask? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he clocked you right in the face. John says sar John says with sarcasm in his tone. Seems about right. So are you helping that puppy, eh? John, John asked, raising an eyebrow. Well, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I might. I was going to help that pup. Okay, let me read this again. I was going to help that pup, but I didn't fully trust John yet. You better do it quietly, but you will kill that puppy if he gets a chance. Of course he would. We reach class and party, please. School ended successful. Su uh, uh, school ended, and I successfully managed to avoid Butch for the entire day till I went to go get the puppy. I saw him sitting right next to the bush where I hid the pup. How in the world did he find it? I understand kids go to I understand kids go to school different ways, but how do you know to go to the exact bush? Make that make sense. How did he know? I wouldn't even know. You know what? You know what? You know what? There's a problem. I saw him right next to the bush where I hit the pup. Of course he saw me and then the name calling began. Hey, loser, where are you headed? The orphanage? I still don't know how he found out. Well, let me try reading this again. Hey, loser, where are you headed? The orphanage? I still don't know how they found out, but man, just remembering it. Remember her leaving still hurts. His entire crew started insulting me, strong, slowly drawing to attention toward us. Ignoring the insults, I went near the bush and scooped up Chase. Big mistake. Doing that with Butch near me. He sees me. He sees me. He sees me. He said, shut up! Siri think I'm talking to her? I'm not. Shut up. Sorry. He sees me pick up Chase and goes right up to, right up to us. Goes right up us. And <sighs> Let me try reading it slowly. He sees me pick up Chase and goes right up to us. He was taller and way larger than me, so that gave him a bit of an advantage. He shoves me back a little. Where you going, loser? 
He's still ass pushing me away. Nowhere you need to know. <laughs> not, none of your, none your business where I'm going. <laughs> oh, really? Then why not leave the dog here? Butch, sa Butch says, chuckling a little bit. With you. Yeah, no. I felt Chase shaking and quietly whimpering. I need to leave for the vet, but couldn't risk being followed. I didn't want that alleyway beating again to repeat itself. This time with, Ch with Chase. Out of pure coincidence, I saw John and Emma leaving school. I signaled them to get over here like, come on. Hey, you. Yeah, both y'all. Come over here. Thankfully, they knew what was going on and came over. Right, right is right not to leave. Oh, ah, ah, ah. right is right not to leave them here. You'll just kill them, Emma says, going up to Butch. So, Butch says with a little no emotion. So I'm leaving with this pup, I say while petting Chase. That's not up to you, Butch says while calling for his crew. Yeah, it is, John says. Oh, you'll see. He spits that chase and then walks away with his crew. I thank both John and Emma. I thank both John and Emma and walk and walk quickly towards the bed. Oh, hello. What's the problem? A lady wearing a white lab coat asks, Can you check if this pup's all right? I hand him over to her. And she took him to a room. Chase was asleep when we entered, so I didn't worry. After two hours of waiting, she came out of the room with a brand new looking puppy. His leg was wrapped up and he was all clean. Chase, is that you? I asked, not believing my eyes. Yep, how do I look, sir? <laughs> Chase asked excitedly. You look amazing. The lady handed me Chase and told me everything I need to know. In need, uh, every time ah, 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 ah. the lady handed me Chase and told me everything I needed to do in order to take care of him properly. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Have a nice day. I walked up the vet and continued my way home, still talking to Chase until I remember one thing my dad. All right, y'all, we had a successful chapter. Let's move on. I don't need to do a summary. Y'all can look it up yourselves. Let's move on. Come, come on. Ooh, that's good. Chapter... Uh... The past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chapter seven. The past part four. Riders POV. Are you all right, sir? Chase asks, looking up at me. Yeah, just a bit distracted. Okay, hold on. Let me hide that. Yeah, just a bit distracted. And you don't need to call me, sir. Call me Ryder. Okay, Ryder, sir. Chase says with his large and cute puppy eyes. I chuckled a bit and walked straight for home. And I prayed and hoped my dad wasn't there. I got up to the front door. I felt my heart beating fast. Chase looked at me with worried looks. Ryder, are you actually okay? I kneeled down and placed him on the floor. Chase, I need you to follow my instructions properly. My dad, he doesn't quite like animals. Doesn't quite like? Does he hate you? Mind your business. He said he doesn't like him. He doesn't like him. <laughs> the young German shepherd asked. Well, yes. That's why you have to listen to my instructions carefully, or else he might. I kept imagining what would happen to Chase if he found out. He might what, sir? He might hurt you really badly. Oh, so he might kill? <laughs> oh, so you mean to tell me I'm coming to your house, right? Make this make sense. And he's going to kill me, all right? So is that what we're doing? <laughs> Explain. 
Do you see this racket? <laughs> That's for your daddy. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, so now I don't want to go. Thank you. Oh, so he might kill the cute pup ad said. I've never expected a pup at his age would know what killing is. Yes. Yes, he might kill you. I say while staring at Chase. Can we please not go in there? Chase says while thawing down his ears. Well, I live here. Do you really not have anywhere else to go? I ask the frightened pup. I live on the streets, but I want to stay with you, Ryder, sir. Chase says while getting closer to me. All right, how's this? I put you on a window that's just outside my room. And when I get in the house, I bring you in through the window. You like that idea? Good idea, Ryder, sir. I picked up Chase and sneakily walked around my house and placed him just outside the window that's in my room. I walked to the front door, only to be greeted with the smell of beer. Ah, oh, crap. He's there! I see my dad sitting on the couch with a beer bottle in his hand. I walk past him with while making sure not to even make an eye contact, not even the scent of my breath to hit his neck, and he turns around and tries to kill me. Come here, Chase. I say, whispering, I whisper quietly. I pick him up and place him down on my bed. I carefully lock my doors in hopes that that would stop my dad. Whoa, whoa, is this your room? Shut up! Shut up! Unless you want to die today and we have your funeral the same day in the reception, and I mean, in the repast that day, you better shut your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm just saying you had to shut up. Shut up. Chase, don't yell. My dad might hear it. I whispered to him while glancing at Chase, at Chase and door repeatedly. Oh, sorry, Ryder, sir. I took off my coat and shirt just to get into something comfier. While taking off, Chase must have noticed the bruises, cuts, and bandages on my arms and body. Uh, Ryder, your body? Chase asks, says with a shocked look. Oh, Chase, you weren't supposed to see that. I cover most of my body with a towel. Sorry, Ryder, sir. It's okay. You've seen it now anyways. I put on a long sleeve shirt and kicked off my shoes as I sat on the bed with Chase. Ryder, if you don't mind... Oh, hold on. Let me see. Okay. Ryder, if you don't mind me asking, how did you get those bruises and cuts? Chase asked while sitting in my own night lap. Well, um, my father would always hit me. He would hit you? But then how did the cuts appear? It wasn't just him. The same people who kicked you also did some bad things to me. Oh, what is wrong with humans, writer, sir? Thank you for... That's, the, that's today's question. What is wrong with humans? Seriously, what is wrong with these type of people? What's going on? Is this something we're not doing as a community to stop this? Or it's just the crazies? It's just the crazies. That That's today's question. What is wrong with humans? And let's continue. I don't even know the answer to that. To that. But remember, all humans are not bad. Well, humans are not bad. You obviously aren't bad, but other than you, my mom. Your mom, where is she? Before I can answer, oh, ooh, I'll be right back. I got to pee. I'm going to pause. I'm going to be. All right. I'm sorry. I had to go pee pee. Let's get into it. Before I can answer, Chase, I see my door not move to the left and the right. I quickly hide Chase under my bed and signal him to stay quiet. Shh. 
I laid back in my bed and pretended to be asleep. And I heard some footsteps approach my bed. And then felt a hand on my back. Boy, get up! Booze on the table, my dad says. I got up and pretended to yawn. As he walked out of the room, I check. Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, I checked Chase, who was still hiding under the, still hiding under the bed. Chase, stay here and don't make a sound. Uh, I need to go eat for a bit. I'll go eat. I need to go eat for a bit. I whispered to Chase, "Can you bring something?" The writer, sir. I'll try. I walked out of my room and joined Dad, who was already sitting at the table. Even though he did bad things to me, I still had to listen to him. We eat in silence until my dad decides to break the silence. And how's school? The same as it. Quit stuttering, boy! Sorry, sir, but I do it all the time. Yeah, but you did it in front of me. Is there supposed... Why? And there's... He's thinking it's smart. <laughs> He's a... Babes, is that supposed to be a dip? This is how you gonna say it. Is there supposed to be a difference? As I said that he slapped me. You speak like that to me again, boy, and it won't end good for you. He shouts. I was still pretty shocked by the sudden slap, but what's new? S Sorry, sir. We continue to eat in silence. I finish half of my plate and placed it on. I plan on giving the other half to Chase, but the only problem was my dad. Where do you think you go? To my room. No, 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 no. You eat it here and finish it here. But I'm stuffed. Then save it for later. I'll leave it in my room. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I feel like this is going to be a bad time. I feel it. Oh, no. Then save it for later. I'll leave it in my room. I accidentally shot at my dad as I shot it. I hear a bark coming from my room. What in the... Chase runs on my room and rubs against my legs. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! No! Why did he run out the room and told him to be quiet? Why did he leave? Why? Why? Oh, no! Why? 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 Chase runs out of my room and rubs against my legs. My heart starts beating fast as my dad stands up from his chair. What is that? Why does he know you? It's a dog, and I saved it. I throw my plate onto the table, a signal chase to get behind me. You little brat. My dad straight away goes to and pushes me aside. I grab the plate and smash it to the back of his head. Oh. All right. There we go. Everyone get up and give a hand clap for my son once again for standing up to his abusive father. Here we go. Yep, yep. There we go. There we go. My dad, my dad straight away goes to goes and pushes me aside. I grab my plate and smashed it on the back of his head. He shouts to pay as I grab Chase and ran into my room. Chase, why did you get out? It sounded like you were getting hurt, Ryder, sir. That's why I told you to stay under the bed. You sounded like you was hurt, Ryder, sir. You shouldn't have done that. Then if I'm hurt, then just save yourself first. As we talk, my dad barges into my room with a bloody hand. You're going to see what happens to mutts in my house. He tries grabbing Chase. Chase 
Brad tries grabbing Chase, but Chase manages to bite him, which only made matters worse. Oh, you stupid dog. Brad, you're going to bury that dog when I'm done with it. Oh, no. 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 No, 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 no. See, I told you, we go get it to it today. <laughs> Like I said, y'all grab your drinks and pour. I hugged Chase tightly and put him up against the wall while turning my back to my dad. My body was the only protection he had. My dad starts punching and kicking me, but Chase was still unharmed. Then I heard a belt unbuckling. I felt the sh quick, sharp pain on my back. I felt the worst pain in my life. I fall to the floor, still trying to protect Chase. I screamed in pain, and I heard Chase whimper while he was still in my arms. He crawled out my arms, and I see him hide under my bed. I felt warmth on my back, and I knew it was blood. You have no... You have no one to protect you now. That God dog is good as dead. He grabs my one spiky hair and pulls it. I was forced to stand up. And as soon as I was straight, standing straight, he started choking me up against the wall. What? Okay. So this is of a sense of, I'm this ain't one ain't for the babies today. This one ain't for the babies. Mm -mm. So, YouTube, I put a restriction on what, if you demonetize this, I'm going to put everything online. I'm going to call whoever's there. This one ain't for the babies. This is for 18 and up. Ooh. Soon as I was standing straight, he started choking me up against the wall. My feet were off the ground. My vision started going dark until Chase leaped towards my dad and bit him on the nose. Ah, oh, you stupid mutt. I fall to the floor as I watch Chase claw and bite my dad's face. Chase falls into my arms. As I sat in the corner, sat in the corner of my room, I see blood on the wall and even on Chase. What? No. Go away. Go away. Your mom was right to leave. No right-minded person will stay with you. He walks out of my room and slams the door shut. Friday, sir, are you okay? No, he's not okay. You just got choked up by his daddy for some stupid reason. Like I said, I'm fed up with the dumb questions. I'm fed up with it. I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. These questions are dumb. The person who wrote this story... Great job on asking questions. Because this is about the dumbest one I've heard. And who's at my door? I'll be right back. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry for this rage. It's, it's just taking over. It's it's crazy. Friday, so are you okay? I don't know. I feel like passing out. The pain was so intense. But I knew it would make the situation worse for both me and Chase if I passed out. Friday, you're, Friday, you're back. It's bleeding. C could you check it for me? Of course. I opened up my shirt, review, revealing... All the new and old bruises. My shirt had a rip at it in the back. It was soaked in blood and sweat. I tossed it in the corner and lay on the floor. Leaving my back face up so Chase could get a good look at it. Ryder, you're going to need a human's help for this one. Chase steps away from me. I look at his face and I can tell it was extremely bad. Chase, can you try and do it? Me? I don't even know how to use a bandage. 
It, it's okay. I, I can do it for myself. I locked my door while grabbing a first aid kit out of my drawer. I opened it and not surprisingly, it had one roll of bandage and cotton swabs. Chase, this isn't enough. So what are you going to do, Ryder, sir? I think I'll just let it bleed out until it stops. What? No, Ryder, you might die. Maybe. But what is there to do? I don't know, Ryder, sir. We sit in science for a good minute, then an idea popped in my head. I grab a bunch of towels from my bathroom and lay them down on my bed as I lay my bleeding back on the towels. The stinging pain was intense, but all I could would do was stop the bleeding was just put pressure on it. Right, are you okay? Ch Chase, I think I just need to sleep for a bit. But, but your dad just hide under the bed. As I say that, I pass out. Whew. Child. I don't even know we should do a review. This was too good to do a review. Y'all haven't figured it out. Man. Chapter 8. The Past. Part 5. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're not going to read this chapter because this one might be demonetized by YouTube. So all we know is Ryder wakes up and the pain hurts a lot. And Chase, they went to sleep. They woke up. His back is still, his back is jacked up. It's solid. It gives off an odor. Chase is hungry. They look in the kitchen and praise God they got no sense. Daddy left. <laughs> he said, you're on your own now. Oh, praise God he ain't with my son anymore. This is just beautiful. They said he's on his own. He can tell if his daddy's handwriting. He was so happy. He says, he's gone, but we're going to be all right. Uh, so let's move to the next chapter chapter 9 bottled up Katie's POV oh Ryder I watch him as he covers his face with his hands I could hear him crying silently but I didn't judge I just mm, I never knew just how bad it was. I rub his back just to make him feel better. I'm so sorry you had to go through all of that. The rider, the lookout was dead quiet. All I could hear was the silent sobbing. The pups must have been asleep since it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I've never told anyone about this. Ryder says, I can see some of his tears dripping to the floor. Why haven't you? I put, ask while putting my hand on his shoulder. Why would, why would, who would want to listen to this? Ryder, you help adventure almost every day. Of course we would listen. I say, he wipes his tears away and leans against the beanbag chair. I guess you're right. It, it's just that. He stops mid-sentence. Just what? I moved out here so that I can forget all about it. So I... So, ah! so that... I moved here... I moved here so that I could forget about it all and try to make a better life for me and Chase. 
That's when I realized I need to make money. And then I thought of a rescue service in my head. But what about the other pups? Found Marshall, then Sky, then Zuma, then Rocky, then Rubble. They were all strays, and all of them had good beginnings, except one, Chase. Yeah. I made him a promise. I made him promise to never tell other popes about mine or his past. So you started a rescue service to make money, I asked, and to keep myself busy. I try my best to forget things about it all, but then the memories would just suddenly come up at sudden at different times. Well, then I'm sorry for bringing this up for you. So if you don't mind asking me, me asking, why did you call me a good way? I called her because she was good friends with my mom. And she would sometimes visit. So it's reasonable to call her after everything that happened. He says, you don't, you don't need to answer this. Like, seriously, just say the word if you, do, if you don't want to answer it. Did you ever find out what happened to your parents? I asked while holding a small pillow. I don't know what happened to my dad, and I don't care to. But my mom, she, he pauses. Are you okay? I ask him as his eyes begin to fill with tears and his chin start to tremble. He quickly dove his face into his hands and just let it all out. See, that's what some people struggle with. Let your emotions go. That's why so many people are in jail now. People just don't know how to vent their problems. Like, yes, I was homeless at the age of nine, and I almost got killed at the age of 10. Just let it go. Stop bottling it up. That's why kids are in jail now. And he just... Let it all out. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. I began to move my bean bag closer to him and try my best comforting. Just watching him become this sad and vulnerable. Vulnerable. Also putting me on the verge of tears. And I've only felt that way with my mom. I'm so sorry for asking. I whisper while hugging him. We both sit in silence until the time is right to get back talking. How about your parents? Ryder says, composing himself. Well, my dad died when I was younger. My mom works in the city. She only visits me once a year, I say. Well, at least you got a parent. Yeah, but it'll be better if she was here. Why did she leave you here alone? He asked while still wiping some tears. First of all, she didn't leave me alone. Okay, enough with the attitude, okay? Take the tune out your voice. I feel it. I can hear it. Wait, wait, who's with you? Friday says while fixing his hair. I don't know why, but just watching him fix his spiked of hair makes me squeal silently. Oh! Allie, of course, I say through a laugh. Second of all, she left me here to run the parlor. She taught me all the skills I need to know. And she knew I could handle the parlor by myself. <sighs> okay. Oh, so that explains why I haven't seen your mom, right? It says, yeah. So anyways, you said, said that Butch and his friends bully you? <laughs> What I tell you? What did I tell you? I said that he gonna find out that he put my hand, he put he put, put his hands on my boy. I told y'all she gonna find out and confront him. I told y'all. Oh, we gonna go deep today. Ooh, we ooh. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Oh. Yeah, so anyways, you say that Butch and his friends bullied you? I know Butch would tease people, 
but beating them up? Yeah, well, yes, he would bully me. Ryder says the word bully while signaling air quotes. Bullying is an understatement for what he's done, Ryder says while raising his voice. I thought he was kind and sweet, I say. He's kind of sweet to you because you're the prettiest girl in school. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Are you so fast? Oh, all right. He's kind of sweet to you because you're the prettiest girl in the school. Oh, Oh no, Ryder says, while well, quickly curving his mouth. His face instantly turns red. Now, before you freak out, I didn't mean it. Wait, no, did I? But stop. I get what you mean. I put my index finger on his lips. Is that not weird for you? Ryder asks as I soon remove my finger. It's weird, but it's usually funny, I say through a giggle. Oh. All right, thank goodness you didn't find it. Ryder starts mid-sentence. I hear the elevator rising up to the top of the lookout. It was Marshall. Hey, Kate. Hey, Ryder. Hi, Katie. Can we go to the pop park? The cute Dalmatian asks. I don't see why not. Just make sure everyone comes home before nighttime, Ryder says. Marshall gets back in the elevator. And then we hear barks and laughter coming from the bottom of the lookout. Anyways, you were saying, I asked. Oh, um, it was nothing. So any more questions? Ryder asked. Yeah, just one more. Who was your first crush? She wants it to be her, obviously. Oh, um, um. Well, I didn't have a crush back then. I knew he wasn't telling the truth. I just let it slide for now. Well, wouldn't you look at that? Well, why don't you look at that? The sun is already setting. Ryder points to the horizon. I honestly didn't realize it's getting late. Wow. Today went by quick, I say. Yeah, especially when you're retelling your life story, Ryder says. Hey, you weren't the only one, I say. We go down the elevator and walk to the front door. We can see the pups still playing at the pup park. Mind if I walk you home, Ryder says? Oh, thank you. We walk towards my place, and midway through, I decide to break the silence. So who was your favorite pup? Ow. Oh, I so who's your favorite pup? All of them? Ryder responded with a smile. But if you had to choose, I say, now that, I can't. They're, they're not even here. Still, I cannot answer that. Fine, I say. We walk past the pup park, and we see both the pups chasing each other and just having a good old time. Marshall looks at us while we walk past him. Nothing big. Now... Ryder's pup. Ryder's POV. I'm sorry. Now, who's your favorite pup, I ask? Well, I say, well, I say Sky. It's because she's a girl, isn't, isn't it? Of course! Everest is a girl, too, you know. Don't be, don't be biased. Is she a girl? Of course, Everest girl. Everest is also a girl, you know. I say, yeah, but I rarely see Everest. She says, you know, I think Sky likes Chase. Sky likes Chase. I ask, you know, like like. She says, oh, like like. What makes you say that? Well, almost every time I see them together, it just. They just seem to be more attracted, attra attached than the other pups. Or, I guess, or they can be really close friends. That too. That too. But I prefer it to be romantic rather than just being friends, Katie says. We reached to the, we reached to the front of the house. She only took a 10-minute walk. Thanks for the walk. Thanks again for the walk, Ryder, and for trusting me, Katie says. 
Trusting you for with what? For trusting me with your past. She unlocks the door. She unlocks the door to her house. Oh, I guess I picked the right person to trust. I was about to start walking back until I hear, I hear her say something. On Ryder, thanks for calling me pretty. She winks at me and closes the door. It made me blush for a quick minute but quickly turned into a nice feeling. I couldn't stop smiling my whole way back home. It was definitely distract it definitely distracted me from the thought of my mom's death. Oh that's sad. What a roller coaster of emotions today today was. Alright. This is pretty good. Um, no summer for this one. Y'all figured it out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so in this chapter, I'm not going to read it. Like I said, it takes up too much time. This one's about they're all playing games, just having fun. And then Marshall opens up to what he witnessed at the lookout in chapter, in part five of his past, they noticed he was crying and they don't know why and they're trying to figure out, but Chase knows why he's upset. So, let's move on! Hold on. All right, look. No, I'm not going to bed. Hold, please. I'll be back. All right. So, guys, that's it for tonight. Thank you for staying tuned tonight. We're going to have a great time. I'm going to go review this. Y'all go like it up on YouTube and get as many views as you can. Share the video. Do what you do. All right. I love y'all. God loves you. And we'll do this story tomorrow. Today was a good day.